Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back. It's day 26, vlog every day in April. Today, I'm going to teach you how to create a time lapse video with a Sony camera and Sony Imaging Edge software. Totally free, and it's really easy, and this will be really quick, and I'll show you right now. So, let me transfer to my other screen so we can get this going. All right, now that we are looking at this screen, what you're going to need, like I said, is the Sony Imaging Edge software and it's totally free. So in my applications, there's the Imaging Edge desktop. What this does is opens an app where you can then open another app. So I don't usually use that one. I just go into Imaging Edge because I have all the apps already downloaded. And what you're going to need to go into is the viewer app. So we'll open the viewer app. And this is what it looks like. And you'll see no pictures because I'm not pointing or directing the app to any of the pictures. But on my desktop, I have a folder that I created called Time Lapse Picks. And I basically have the pictures I want to use in there. So you'll find what you want, right? So it's all these pictures I took at a baby shower. Now I'll select the first one, scroll down, hit shift on the keyboard so I could select all the pictures. And now what you want to do is go to tools, create time lapse movie. Now you'll have this option box here. I keep them in JPEG. Now remember, usually you'll probably have raw files. These pictures are already JPEGs. So if I save them as a JPEG, they don't need to save again because they already are JPEGs. If you have raw files and you're saving them to JPEGs, it will then save those pictures and convert them to JPEG. So for the sake of this, we keep it save as JPEG, save it on my desktop, file name, I'll just use the original file name. I keep this as use the same setting as shooting settings. Um, file name, you can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to leave it. I wanna save my time-lapse also on my desktop. And then you could select the size of your time lapse. So it could be small for easy uploading if you're just gonna view it on a phone or something. Here is good for viewing on a TV or computer. It's like standard definition. Or you could uh, create a 4K time lapse. For the purpose of this, I'll just do good for viewing. That's totally fine. Playback speed. Now I only have about, I think, 30 pictures. So 30 pictures as a time lapse is going to be really, really slow. I want this to be like three, four, five seconds. So instead of my playback speed being one time, I'll just make it like quarter time. Rotation is standard. Video format I leave at NTSC and then I click save. Now this is saying me some selected images will not be processed. Basically, they're not gonna be processed into JPEGs because like I said before, they're already JPEGs. So I don't have to worry about this. And now it's processing all the pictures. And now we just wait. Depending on how many pictures you have, it might take 10 minutes, it might take an hour. Since I only have about 30 pictures, you could see it's taking about less than a minute. And now it's done. It'll say completed, all processing complete. You hit close. And now what I'm gonna do is open up the file that was just downloaded, which is this right here. And now I'll click play. And remember these are all pictures. And there you have it. A simple time-lapse video. And that's the easy way to create a time-lapse video with the Sony camera and the Sony Imaging Edge software, specifically the viewer software. And also, like I said, I use a Sony camera, so I'm using this software. If you use a Canon camera, I haven't tested this, but you can still use your Sony software, just point to whatever pictures you took with that camera. Or if you took pictures with your iPhone, just point to wherever those pictures are, and I'm sure this will work just the same. And if it doesn't, let me know and I'll test it out and figure out how it works, but I'm pretty sure it will work. But there you have it. Again, the easy way to create a time-lapse video in the Sony Imaging Edge software for free. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you found it helpful and insightful. Thank you again for liking and subscribing. I hope you all continue. Also, continue to leave comments below. 
Continue to leave questions below, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, guys.